Hello and welcome back to Wolf or Wolf and Friends Gaming. Sorry, I'm getting my channels mixed up right now. Um, so uh, yeah. Um, back to the Human Reignition Project of the demo. So um, it's been a while since I did a gaming video that I actually recorded within the actual day or sort of area it was posted in. But yeah, let us continue. So yeah. Okay, Caillou shrinks to the background, blood rushing to his face. Okay, so I'll take that. So that's Caillou. I'll do this again. Yeah, K yeah Kaitaru. I think my name was Ken. Haha, <laughs> nah, it's fine. Ken wouldn't be. Yeah, I am Ken. Ken wouldn't be interested in hearing about it. Isn't that right, Ken? And now I'm turn back to Kurt. The novelty oh, yeah, Kurt's like the boss. The novelty of imagining Caillou run is already gone. Conversation falls off as we focus on eating, save for the reformless drone of the TV and the shop's ambient buzz, and there's silence. Kai and I are used to it, but sets and I squirming as she shifts her eyes back and forth, really waiting for one of us to talk. Okay, we don't. Why don't the weak cough, she breaks the silence. But, yeah, I guess you could say I like running and stuff. Biking, too. Because obviously sets and I has very low patience level. She has to keep. She can't allow silence to occur, is what I'm getting from it. It's a respectable attempt to rejuvenate the conversation, but Caillou is too busy inhaling his food to respond, and I'm not exactly paying attention. Still, I feel for the poor girl and throw her a bone. That's a metaphor, of course. Oh, so you're into stuff like that. Sorry, it's enough. However, she snatches the opportunity. <laughs> oh, totally. I really like that kind of stuff. You know, roller skating, yoga, brisk walks, skydiving. What? I do a double take while Kayo almost spits out his food. Gotcha. Tetsuna gives a Cheshire grin and snickers to herself. You can't be kidding me. It was definitely funnier when Kayo was on the receiving end of her teasing. That's, that's enough for you. Staring your toes around her. Would have been nice knowing that earlier. Oh, uh, you'll learn pretty quickly that I'm only messing around. Just a jokester. Got it. You're a quick learner, right, Ken? Setsuna's eyes snap to the TV, apparently more interested in the airing commercial than my response. Kurt's playing an ad for a phone service with unsurpassed connectivity and support. It sounds like all of them, or all of them that claim to have that. Oh, yeah. Setsuna reaches into her back pocket and unfolds a wrinkled piece of paper. There was a man who was handing these out downtown earlier. That commercial just reminded me. She spreads it on the on the counter. It's crumpled with a few small pieces torn from the corner. Technology and the de wow, this is something I would really be interested in. Technology and the decline of society. Why you should listen before it's too late. It also sounds like a doomsayer. A piece of paper. It's a flyer, genius. What an idiot. So long, the last of his food. Kind of wipes his hands and leaves over. For what? Looks like a seminar. Yep, the guy handing them out said he was going to talk about this Saturday at the convention center. Sounds like one of those things where a homeless guy sells you something while his kid steals your wallet. Where's my mouse? No, oh, there it was. Move it off screen. That's that's oddly specific. Have you been pickpocketed recently? Oh, but maybe you have. Sits in a scoff at my remark, but checks for pack pocket anyway. <laughs> Well, they can't be too homeless. The convention center is pretty classy, and I know class when I see it. Clearly. <laughs> He's probably one of those eccentrics, like Mr. Gatsby. You know, we're people with money, like Mr. Gatsby. It says here that attendees get a complimentary mystery gift if they make it through the whole thing, like Oprah. This is sounding more and more like a scam. Do you actually want to go to this, Setsuna? Thinking about it, who knows what kind of weird folk might show up to something like that. Or nobody. Except for me. That's a big reason not to go. You guys want to tag along? I'll pass. Doesn't seem like my kind of thing. Such in his eyes are drawn so interestingly. I would say that right now. Even her design is a lot different than what I've seen so far. Caillou, if it turns out to be a bust, we can just ditch it. Hmm, you drive a hard bargain. But I think I have a ship that day. Can do I work that day? Yes. 
So I said, no, you heard the man. We got work. Damn, I kind of wanted to go too. It's for the best. You'd be squirming to get out of there after five minutes. <laughs> okay, now her design changes as she actually faces me. <laughs> oh, you guys are boring. Boring. I'm practically Mr. Excitement. But even Mr. Excitement has to earn a living. I glance up at the old analog clock. World Star Pack Note, Mr. Excitement, will close in five. Technically, we should wait the remaining five minutes. You know, in case we get one customer somehow. It's that we do what we always do and fudge the numbers. We're both of keys, but I clean up and walk out with Setsuna, leaving Kaido to lock up. Of course. Time for me to steal his girl. Is Kai is Kai walking you home, or should I call it cab? Chivalry has been dead for a long time, Ken. It doesn't need you to bring it back. She gives me a smile and a wink. Oh, okay, so she's just walking. Oh, okay, so she's got her bike. So I got my trusty bike here to see me home safely. She picks it up and hops on. With a kick to the stand, it starts rolling. Okay, she always have like tr chains on it, or unless they can just normally go through snow. Nice meeting you. Let's hang out again sometime. Yes, and then I shall steal you. Oh yeah, nice meeting you too. With a wave, such a rise into the night. Let's hang out again, huh? A short time later, I'm back in my apartment complex. What interesting apartments. The sidewalk is stained where rusty water has dripped off the balcony railings. Decaying leaves, chuckle gutters the parking lot, along with off-white paint chairs that have peeled from the building. Oh boy, so it's aged. Condition aside, the rent isn't bad. It's only a couple of blocks from work. Okay, so it's pretty good. I come to my floor, holding my breath so I don't smell the ammonia and stale garbage. Okay, so the area is pretty bad. Okay, so my house doesn't look all that grand. You'd be wrong to judge my apartment by its exterior. Inside, it's even worse. Yeah. See the ashtray. Barely anything. The carpet is a mess of stains, spatters, and blotches. Tiles are missing from the bathroom, handles are gone from drawers, and a couple of power outlets are just gaping holes. And I'm probably sure that this is falling off soon, and there's probably rats in here. There's a rustling as I slunk through piles of discarded clothing and paper plates before plopping onto the couch. The work leaves me too drained for how little I do. Rolling onto my side, I scan the shelves beside the TV where my film collection is crammed. I mean, these like, one, two, three, four, like, ten films. Well, they're, they're the only thing I could call a passion. Wild action flicks, sleep stopping horror, even ancient Swedish art films. Arithian might like those. My favorites, though, are the romantic comedies. There's something so optimistic about them that the crappy plots and corny dialogue don't even matter. I'll put one on, but there's something I need to do. I need to call- Oh, I got a shower. In this dirty shower area. The bathroom light buzzes for a second and then flicks on. Digging through the clutter of empty shampoo and conditioner balls in my cabinet, I pull out the can hidden in the back. Prying it open with a teaspoon <laughs> sends some iron gray specks floating out. Ambrosidone. I scoop some of the powder into a plastic cup, douse it in tap water, and after hesitating for a second, swallow it all. I think it's brosidone. I'm looking that up on my iPod right now, but anyways. Familiar putrid sludge fills my mouth, and I spit it under running tap water to clear my throat. At least the effects are worth it. This is only a medication. Hang on. I know it's loaded. The talk with Setsuna reminded me of a rom-com about an Olympic runner, and I searched for it in the mess of boxes. No an acquaintance of Caillou could eat dinner at someone else's work so comfortably. And of course, being one of Caillou's friends meant she was bound to be a nut. She confirmed it with that whole technology thing. Oh, okay, so Ambrosia no doesn't actually exist. Apparently it's a fictional drug. Got it. Who would waste time going to that? Pulling out the film, I crouch and feed it into the player. I catch sight of my reflection in the TV screen, hunched over in my empty apartment. I look. No, it's how I always look. I throw myself back onto the couch and listen to the film's opening theme lift off. A weight pushes down on my brain and the film title budges from the screen, shuddering into prismatic shards that whirl around in a spiral. Gravity grows, pushing me down. My body melts into the couch and ceases to exist. 
I am disembodied consciousness. I watch the film, I am the film, one with running, and flying into dreams of a cloudless sky. If only my heart had wings. A few days later, I'm back, but did I, how long was that film if, a few day, if it's a few days later? It's like nothing happened. Boss decided to make an appearance. He insisted on manning the counter and told me to go and make myself useful. Now I'm stuck restocking the shelves. I can see how Kaiyu spends so long doing it. The changes are so insignificant that I'm really just killing time. Boss is happy as long as it as long as it looks like I'm busy. It's like every boss. What? Okay. Hey, are you still working? Crap, I must be less convincing than I thought. Yes, boss. I'm really not used to this. Bah! You work behind the counter too much and it'll get sloppy. Gotta change things up for you sometimes. I'm doing you a favor. He seems proud of himself. I can't tell if he's serious. What kind of boss dresses like that? He gives the can to been rearranging a hard stare. So I then makes a show of straightening a couple. I can't even see a difference. Presentation is nine tenths of the sale, Ken. Remember that. Here, here we go. You know how much they pay people to design these labels? All that money just to come up with a way to write beans. And they do it because they know how important presentation is. This rustic look pulls in people nostalgic for more natural food. See, what you need to... I tune out. Oh, okay. Once boss gets going, he doesn't stop until he's out of breath. Which... He goes on for hours, really, isn't... Oh, yeah. Okay. He'd go on for hours if I just nodded there for a few seconds. They're sneaky about it, too. They use fancy focus groups so they know which shade of green sells the most. Things that you and I wouldn't even think about. Well, on and on and on and on and on and on and on. And off. He acts like he's wise, but I think he's just making it up. It's why they don't ever put pictures of animals on cans that aren't pet food. What do you think about it, right? Boss smirks. Oh, again, he seems satisfied. Oh, and while I remember, there's some trash I need to take out. His name is Kiyu. And I thought I'd be so glad to take out the garbage. By the time I have the bass to the front door, he's back behind the counter, feet up, and staring blankly at Kurt. I thought, okay, well, all the snow melted in hours. Gotcha. Red bicycles, also in blue. Didn't see that the first time. I'm focused on tossing empty Chinese boxes into the dumpster when a voice interrupts me. Of course, it's Kayu. Since when did you get so proactive? About the time he showed up, boss is here. What? Yeah, apparently he was in the area. Crap. Did you see any of those? No, just keep your no. Just keep your mouth shut and we'll be fine. Damn it all. You've got it easy. Do you know how many of these of his lectures I've had to sit through? He should carry your shutters. I'm scared to ask. Here, let me give you a hand. I was surprised by Kayu's generosity. Then I realize he's stalling. Can't blame him. Long time no see, boss. You miss me? Uh huh. While I was gone, Boss became engrossed in his news tablet. I took the opportunity to reclaim my usual counter seat. It's my seat. It's like a game. Wait and see how long it takes him to realize Kaio and I aren't working. Boys, we have a problem. I was reading over the inventory sheet, and we're missing a significant number of shelved items. It's theft. So I'm firing both of you. Now, I don't know who it is, and I don't want to think it's an inside job, but you boys need to be careful. We run a business here. Well, really, I want you to catch the bastards, but I'll be realistic. I think it's you two. It wouldn't be a problem if you installed real security cameras. Fake ones only worked until Kai realized they didn't. What? What, did he just use them as intimidation? Can't stop all thefts. They're an unavoidable part of business. That's why mystery diners exist. But if you see somebody in the act, take them down. Keep shocking behind my desk. Kayataru. I don't think Kay's got any of that. He's been staring at the window for a while now. Huh? What did I just say? He snaps to attention. Theft is bad. Catch criminals. Don't go crazy with it. Right? Boss blinks in surprise. I don't blame him. 
You kids need to look at people when they're talking to you. It's good manners. Anyway, I want Kurtar to take inventory. Tomorrow, I mean. I already did it today, you lazy bastard. I have to get going, but I'll check in on you later. <laughs> yeah, he really suspects Caillou. Kurtar and I wait to see if he's actually gone. It wouldn't be the first time he reappeared right after leaving. Eventually, we both relax. And then he walks back in the room. You know he, you know he was talking about you, right? I have no idea what you mean. Kurtar begins unwrapping a candy bar. <laughs> I can't believe he trusts you with the inventory. Neither can I right now. It's like giving water to a man dying of thirst and then asking where the water keeps going. <laughs> no, I only eat the cheap stuff. If it's anything expensive, I'll put some money in the register. Anyway, Kurtar is the best customer, <laughs> or at least the most frequent. Boss has no proof that he's eating the stock, but he seems to have suspicions of me as well. So take it easy, alright? You won't notice if it's one or two things, but he isn't dumb. Of course, can everything in moderation, like alcohol. He takes another candy from the shelf, the kind of restaurants throw in free with a meal. My gosh. I guess even Kaya has a moral code. I've actually developed a system to look over the inventory and get a feel for what's selling. If there's some unfortunate candy that doesn't get any love, you take a few to balance the shelves. If you take more than one, or if it's expensive, you leave money roughly equivalent to its value in the register. Roughly? I think of it as an employee perk, seeing how boss never pays us anything he doesn't have to. Why should he pay us anything he doesn't? This Ken is my code. My honor among thieves. My own personal Magna Carta. You bastard. Oh my gosh. Just don't get caught on my shift, or I'll get fired too. No need to worry, I'm always careful. We're an awful workforce. Don't know why anyone will hire one of us, much less both. So I saw Setsuna again the other day. Congratulations! She was still talking about that thing at the convention center. Honestly, I want to go and film her making an idiot of herself. I could put it online, get millions of views. What about your shift? I don't think Boss is going to show up that day. And I have my good friend Ken to cover for me. That's my day off. Oh. He thinks for a moment, then brushes the problem aside. I'll figure something out. I'll put up a dummy of myself. Well, notes. Are you just not opening the store? No, no, nothing like that. Nothing like that at all. I think it'll only be like an hour or so. Worst case, I'll just close up, take my lunch break early, and check it out. You know, it's a scam, right? You're full of it, man. Even if it is a scam, all I have to do is not fall for it. So relax, I'll just take a leisurely lunch break, see what's up, and be back before anyone realizes I'm gone. You can rest easy on your day off knowing old reliable Caillou is at the helm. No, I'm not, yeah, of course not. Fine, but whatever happens, I'm not coming in on my day off. Yeah, no one would. Burrington drags me out of a good night's sleep. It's so much gone. Oh, it's boss. Huh. I better know exactly what it's about. Well, well, how is Kagataru? I'm not sure what you mean, boss. He isn't there. I stop by the store and check on him. What's the first thing I notice? The door is locked, the lights are off, and nobody's there. I'm like holding my throat and I do the boss's voice. Maybe he's on break. It's 8 in the goddamn morning. We just opened an hour ago. No one takes breaks that early, except for me. I don't know what you want me to do, boss. Probably find yeah, of course. I want you to know where the bastard is without well, getting in touch with him. I'm opening up, but I want him here now. This is unacceptable. I have his info. Try calling him. Already did. His phone's off. I still think I can touch somehow. Leave it to me, boss. He says louder through the receiver. Ah! Look, just bring him in. I need him working. We'll do, boss. I'll go find him in the city. And bring him on my day off. My voice shows off as I finish my sentence. What? You need to speak up. Anyway, just bring him in. The line goes dead. I knew Kaya's plan wouldn't work, but he's still technically my friend, and I'd feel bad letting him take all of his boss flack. The wrath of boss might just be manageable with both of us there. Oh, my eyes and need my face. It always happens. Kaya runs out, does something stupid, then I have to clean up. 
Reach to my nightstand, pull out emergency bag of Ambrosia Dust. My gosh, I am a Ken is a drug addict, unless this is a prescription. Although it's still a drug addict thing. Then someone to the bathroom sitting cradling in my head. Yeah, he is a drug addict. Hard. Oh my god. I dumped the entire bag into glass filled with water. I've never actually had this much before, but what could go wrong? What the heck? Oh my gosh, he is a hardcore drug addict. This is worse than usual, of course, because you're taking like 20 pills at once. How your lives amazing. Spit, then to sink all the time, take a deep breath to keep from flowing. Oh my, yeah. Once my stomach settles, brush my teeth, grab some cleanish clothes from the eighth in the corner. Done dressing up in small case on the sink, gently stick. Oh, okay. And then I have more, bro. The heck? Oh, that's new. I pick up the towel from the phone connection to make sure it's working. Oh gosh, that worries me now. Satisfied and with the last of my ancestrals gathered, I lock up and out the door. Are my essentials more ambrosidone pills? Destination Convention Center. Oh wow, what a nice area. 21 minutes, I uh, can go a bit more. Each step pumps the ambrosidone. Oh my, I'm feeling was, I, Oh my god, yeah, of course you're gonna fall over your drug addict. You got this, Ken. You got this. You can do it. No one will notice anything other than you stumbling around like an idiot. Stand outside the Convention Center, squinting through the glare of ice and glass. Man in the soup is beside me. He pulls out his phone with the hands the size of tiny apples. I laugh at him. Ha, oh, not his phone. Laugh again. He scuttles off. His hands expand the further he goes. Near the horizon, he'll pick up the city and shake us all loose like coins. Convention is like a blooming flower of glass and stone. Can't go in. There aren't the proper number of support columns. Not close to the proper number. What? How do. That, do with, that, that has nothing to do with anything. What if an engineer forgot them? What if the guy who built it skimped on them to save money? What is this guy talking about? It would be just like the fat cap engineers who build buildings to put the public at risk for a couple more dollars. Sure, that may be true, but what? This has nothing to do with it. I can't go on. Uh, okay, that ambrosia is going straight into my brain. Caillou, yeah, Caillou's here. I'll have to risk it. I can't let Caillou blow up. Yeah, he is. Yeah, the ambrosia is just straight in the brain. There are people here in the lobby. Wow, the anti-technology nut drew in a crowd? It's like Bernie Sanders or something. I should learn more about his cult before the main event. <laughs> Could be dangerous. Slink toward a woman who's texting on a sofa. I stumble, pulled by the side with gravity. Oh gosh, don't tell me this is, he's gonna be the leader of the Human Reignition Project. I pretend to expect the table so I can peek at her phone. Oh my, why? What do you want? Just act natural. I have a lot of impose done in my system, but I just have to act natural. I'm not. You didn't wish me to spread under my breath. The woman hurries away down a corridor past what? Yeah, of course she would, because direct it says directors, no directions. And big blue clock letters at the top. Below that is a mess of tiny text. The promised directors I glide over. Color shift. In, oh, yep, I am going on a trip. Squash my eyelids with the heels of my palms, squint, commanding the letters to stop. I'm looking for room 010. No, room 1010. Room 101? There's a main convention hall. Two floors to the left and one to the right. Simple. Oh, well, now I'm going to forget my left and right somehow. Oh, hey, they got an Elmo. Fifteen hours later, I stumble to the main convention hall. A crowd. There's a crowd. Because I have in forever. She pick up Kitar and sits now, but the lights are flickering like a strobe. Whoop! Well, we will stop here at where all the drugs are coming into my brain because I am like hardcore drug addict Ken right now. So I think if right click, yep, yep, there we go. So let me save on screen. Uh, sure, yes. Okay, and then load. Okay, so yeah, it works. So yeah, I am like high on drugs right now. Or not high. I'm these prescription drugs that may or may not be a prescription are getting into my mind as Ken so of course everything's gonna become all loopy but we will see what actually happens during the seminar and if Ken will fall for this sort of cult sort of convention meeting but yeah uh, check out some of my other videos I'll put links in the description below and also annotations at the end of the video and I will see you all later bye bye